Hey guys, so recently, if you haven't heard, there's been news on how CEC might go bankrupt. And just to get it out of the way, don't believe that. Wait for an official announcement. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to give you give a little summary on what to expect when you go back to CEC from someone that has already gone to CEC during phase one reopening. What do you mean by that, you may be asking? Well, what that means is, what I'm basically going to do is talk about what to expect uh, from Chuck E. Cheese, plus some things that the website doesn't mention. So basically, I take stuff from the website and just talk it here, but also some things that they don't put on the website for some reason. But anyways, I will also divide these into two, into sections from when you go to when you leave. With that said, let's go. Okay, so this is a very small section, but I feel like it's still important to talk about it. So let's just get over with it. So before you enter CC, before you go there, before you start driving there, before you even leave your house, before you even somewhat plan to go there, check their website. You can see which Chuck E. Cheese's are open on their opening list. Either it may be your local, or maybe a Chuck E. Cheese that's only about 30 minutes or 15 minutes away, or it could be a Chuck E. Cheese that's about an hour away from you. Heck, it could even be a Chuck E. Cheese from a whole entire different state. Just check the website to be sh make sure about when to which Chuck E. Cheese are open and everything. That's it. I told you it was small. With the birds and the trees and the sweet scented breezes. When your day's work is over, then you are in clover and life is one beautiful rhyme. No trouble. Okay, so upon leaving your house, remember to take a mask. That is very important to your and uh, your and everybody else's safety. Just in case. Even if there are no people, even if you think no one's going to show up with a mask, even if you already been to Chuck E. Cheese and you saw people not showing up with a mask. Still take one. Just in case. Another thing you should also take is your a small bottle of sand hand sanitizer. Even if people even if Chuck E. Cheese has their hand sanitizing stations, take your own. Just just to be safe. This is um this one is optional, but take a few tissues as well. You never know. You might need them, just in case. Alright. Let's get on to the next section. Okay, so before you enter you should have your mask on at this point. If you don't, put it on. And also, you should have all the things that I mentioned above in your pocket, purse, bag, personal bag, whatever. Whatever you have to carry around. Anyways, when you go to Chuck E. Cheese's, just, in, just for those locations that have the small rooms, I know not a lot of them. I think most locations have it. They don't. I don't know. But for those that do, just... You can put on your mask there, just in case. Um, the only doors you'll be opening is the um, the outside doors, you know, the ones that... The actual outside doors, not the inside doors. <laughs> it's hard to explain. Um, it's, it, that was just a small detail I wanted to point out, but... Just, just hopefully it could be helpful in it. Okay, so now that's done. Let's go over to kitchen. Once you get to Kitchak, the first thing you'll be instructed is to get the hand sanitizer that they have there. So you can sanitize your hands, I guess. After that, the cast member will check your temperature with one of those things. I'll put a picture up of it. 
I don't know what they're called. I'll check later. But, um... Yeah. Lastly, it's last, instead of having the traditional stamp and sticker, I guess, you will be instructed to take a selfie with either your phone or your parents' phone of the whole entire family, so then everybody comes together, leaves together. Simple? Good. Okay. Next section. While at Chuck E. Cheese, or Chuck E. Cheese's, you may notice a few different. First off, some seats, booths, however you want to call it, will be closed due to social distancing, obviously. But you can still sit with your family, so that's good. Sorry, Rubble Bubble, Wonderland, Simpsons, Cookie Carnival fans, but token games will not be available during Phase 1 reopening, obviously. Multiplayer games are also going to become one player only, so you can't challenge your friends on basketball or compete to get fish or any other really popular mode. Oh yeah, the racing games, you can't race against your friends. Also, the hockey table is also off limits and ski ball will be reduced to either one or two lanes depending on the locations that have more than four lanes of ski ball. Another thing is the uh, salad bar. Salad may not may or may not be available. The website says it will, but when I went, it wasn't. So my guess is it will only be available to certain locations, or they will add salad later on. I, I don't know how it's supposed to work, so I can't really say, oh, this happens, or this is what you do to get salad or something. Yeah. Okay, so quickly before we get into section 4, I forgot to mention this in section 3, but the Sky Tutor are also going to be off limits and the play area, I guess, in the kitty section. J just, just wanted to point that out. Okay. Section 4. The birthday parties will be hosted at a separate time than than the regular hours. I'm guessing they mean like 4 or 5 in the afternoon they're going to host birthday parties. I think. I think that's how maybe that's where they're going to host birthday parties. I have no idea how that's supposed to work since I haven't. I haven't done that or... I don't know, I haven't seen that, so I don't know how that's going to work, so maybe we can look forward to see, maybe they might put that more into detail. I guess that's another reason why you should come a little bit earlier, like in the daytime. Uh, let's see, cast members will clean the game rooms every 15 to 30 minutes. This may be different depending on the location, so not all locations are going to do 15 to 30 minutes. Maybe they might do it every 5 minutes, every 10 minutes. Oh, I'm just saying, I'm just saying that. Just in, just in case. And that's that section. Well, okay, so this is going to be very short. Basically, you just you just show your photo to the cast kid check cast member, and then they're going to let you go. That that's it. Not really much. Another thing, this is for the um, Turkish YouTubers. Um, the showroom will be um, closed. Like all the seats will be closed. So I guess that would be good for you filming and everything and that's basically about it thank you guys for watching and comment down below if you have any questions just in case and then i can ask i can i can answer them and 
I'll see you guys whenever I post again. Bye.